was the night before Game of Thrones finale, and all through the house, pretty much every creature was stirring because we can't get them to go to bed. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, so we have a busy day tomorrow. This is a kid-full weekend. Mm -hmm. And of course, Game of Thrones had to put their finale on a kid-full weekend. So we're doing a little recording the night before to talk about how excited we are. But there's a little bit more to it than that. But first of all, can you feel the excitement? Me? Yes. Of course I can. Me. I'm super, this is super what, I mean, stoked, man. It's like we're up way later than usual right now. Because are we? we just can't I stayed up till one thirty last night. <laughs> I was trying to... Oh. All right, whatever. Well, you sound, like, we sound like old fuddy-duddies. <laughs> we are old fuddy-duddies. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> It's half past nine and we're still awake. We had our dinner at four. Oh, I had an afternoon coffee. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to make us feel old before this is over anyway, so just be ready. Great. So here's the thing. I have had very bad luck with technology these last, I don't Two know, phones? year. Yeah. Uh, I'm now on my second phone that is going to go in soon for hardware repair. Um, Why are you talking about this right now? Because I had to do a factory reset of my phone as part of the troubleshooting, and it's just such a pain in the ass to get everything set up again. I did not have – I was not connected to our email for a while or our Facebook page or uh, even Reddit for a few days there. So I completely missed a a mailbag. So we're doing a mailbag today because we should have done it. The other day when we were recording for Master Kevin, uh, but I didn't have it. It just completely slipped my mind because it was all gone. Okay. So what's in the mailbag? Pull it out. <laughs> That's Pull what it she out. Said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I just wanted to um, give some shout outs here and tell you what certain people are saying and talking about. Um, first of all, shout out to Sylvia from Mexico City. Nito. Nito. Another listener from lovely Mexico. We should go visit. Did I say that right? Mexico? Mexico? Probably. I think I did. Uh, <laughs> so she, uh, she's a big fan. Uh, but she pointed out the whole thing about Varys poisoning mm-hmm. Daenerys, which we did talk about with Lord Master Kevin the other day. I just, I just see all these comments about it now. And I just feel like, how could I have missed? It appears to be like everyone else saw it, but mm-hmm. me. And I don't know. Did you think of it the I'm first time? I'm the one time that around? brought it up, babe. You, well, you saw it online. I mean, when we watched no, it, no, did you I, think of I, it? Well, I thought it was peculiar how much they were focusing on his hands and the way he was taking off his rings well, and that, setting them yes, there. I mean, did they really need that scene if it didn't mean anything? But poisoning her food, though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I actually did read one thing about the rings that, if it's true, is pretty stupid. What? Which is that, and I don't know if this is true. I haven't had time to chase down you know, a bad reporter, but this is something I read, which was that Game of Thrones had a cross-promotional deal with some jewelry company. What? And that Varys was wearing their rings. No way. And they don't need promotion. <laughs> they were zoomed in on the rings. I, it, it's a thing I read. Well, we'll know tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to, because I, I, I replied to Sylvia as well. I'm just like, I don't get it, man. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I think that Varus was up to something else? I just thought he was writing letters. That was one thing, and then I thought he was just like trying to talk John into taking control. Not this whole like possible assassination thing. Who knows? We're going to find out tomorrow. <sighs> but if it's true, he sure has come a long way since season one, when he was ordered to poison Daenerys and really didn't want to, mm. and sort of gave the order, but also gave Jorah the tip off. Well. Hell of a time. So. Yes. I cannot even fathom what is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I am so like, wow, last episode was not what I expected mm-hmm. that I have no idea where, where, where they're going now. Well, I have some good news for you because uh, Christian has figured it all out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank he knows you, exactly Christian. where this is going to go. So I'm going I'm to take that off your shoulders now. Thanks. He wrote us a nice, just a, like a lengthy paragraph, but this has all the predictions that we need to know. Okay. All right. The episode starts a couple weeks in the future. After a cleanup process, 
uh, has finished. All the charred All- bodies. <laughs> yeah, they kind of... At least they probably fed a lot of those to Drogon. He would have loved it. <laughs> uh, all seven kingdoms are represented by a delegation summoned to Daenerys to swear fealty. Okay. Several leaders take the knee until Sansa hesitates to do so. Ooh. Daenerys questions her and Sansa declares John's true parentage and reiterates that the North knows no king, but mm. the king in the North. And she says, fuck the queen. <laughs> Other leaders stand and agree that John is the rightful heir after receiving Varys's messages and seeing Danny's rampage in King's Landing. Daenerys flies into another fit of rage and executes John by dragon fire, except he is unharmed by the fire, just like Targaryen. Daenerys. Daenerys turns her attention to the rebellious leaders and says that they will all die instead, threatening to burn them all. As she mirrors the Mad King, so does a shamed Tyrion. Tyrion stabs her in the back, killing her oh, and taking the title now he's of the Queen Slayer. He's the Queen Slayer, exactly. That's what he said. Grey Worm, shamed by his recent actions and still mourning Masande, hangs his head and has the Unsullied stand down. Hmm. Uh, Drogon sees Dandy die and turns to kill Tyrion, but Jon cleaves his neck as he starts to spew flame. Oh. Drogon's death throes critically wound Jon. He is declared king and given unanimous support. John names Arya his hand and protector of the realm. He declares the Targaryen line dead and says his true family is the Stark line, renaming himself John Stark after his mother. Hmm. He names Sansa his heir, and as he dies, Sansa ascends to the throne. Okay. So. Wow. First of all, I do not want Drogon to die. He's he's not the villain. In I all like him. He's so cute. Yeah. He's like a big, giant puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Dro- Drogon could be retrained. If John were to survive, he could retrain Drogon. We were speculating about that. You know how when Sophie watches us, like, kiss, and it's all weird? That's the exact same look that Drogon had. <laughs> <laughs> but it was adorable, right? Yes, it was adorable. Um, so there you go. So we figured it all out. We have Tyrion taking his brother's mantle, John taking the throne, but then dying so that Sansa can have it. I Could mean, happen. It, it would all wrap everything up in a nice little bow. Yeah, I suppose. What about Arya? Did he say something about Arya? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Because uh, she's definitely was, got a big... Arya was Hand of the King, and then assumedly mm. Hand of the Queen after Well, that. okay, so let's explain the White Horse and the significance of that. Oh, wait. Well, I've got I've got more. We'll, we'll come to the White Horse. I thought that was the end. Well, that's the end from Christian's email. <clears throat> but then there was an email from Dana... And the first thing, and she had a bunch of things to say, but the Is first Dana thing. Could be a man. Probably a woman. Okay. And you will understand why at the end of this. Okay. Um, but Dana says uh, if Tyrion goes on trial for releasing Jamie and Drogon goes all Dracarys on him and he survives, then voila, we get the whole Tyrion's a Targaryen thing that we've all been waiting for. But is he? Well, here's what we know from the books. In the books, he had two different color eyes, and that was kind of weird. I don't remember what color they were. Was one of them purple? I don't know. But he had the he had the platinum blonde hair. Not the Lannister regular mm-hmm. blonde hair, but the super blonde hair like a Targaryen. And we know that I think it was the Mad King. Uh, but he's not like that in the movies. Had dalliances. So. No, he's not. But he had dalliances with uh, with. That's right. Tywin's wife, he, whatever her name was. Who did? Who did? Janet or something. Uh, the Mad King, I think. Janet? I don't remember her name. It was like a totally normal <laughs> name. It was like Janet Dolores. or Sarah or no, Dolores is too complicated. She had just like a, a regular old name. Hmm. Um, but. The point being that he could have impregnated her, and that's not, and that would be a big part of why Tywin always hated Tyrion so much. Not just that he was a dwarf and maybe kind of embarrassing in that regard, and not just that his wife died in childbirth, but also. Well, I'm just going to say that I saw a picture of John watching. I thought what was the last episode, and he was crying. Okay. So, what would make him cry? Wait, are you talking about the actor? The actor. He was watching his own last episode and he was crying? Yes. I think so. I don't know. I mean, if you... Based on what the internet is saying, he was probably crying because he hated the episode so bad. No. uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> everyone's trying to tell us that the actors are mad that this, but they could be all full of Who's, crap on yeah, it. Okay. Okay. They seem happy to me because I've, wa- I've, I've been looking. <laughs> um, but here's some other stuff Dana said. She said, what the heck happened to Dario? She's kind of annoyed as I am that there's all these sort of missing threads. But she said, you know, people missing maybe from what we see coming. Yara, Sansa, Brienne. I think we'll see Sansa and Brienne at least in the final episode. Of course. Braun. We have no clue what's going to happen with him. I hope. I hope Jamie's still alive. So that Brienne can kick his ass. Have you been reading that conspiracy theory? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. Um, the Faceless Men, the Free Folk, Dire Wolves, Ghost, and Nymeria. Uh, the Faceless Men. We would love there's a there's a big loose end or sort of a loose end. I mean, every, really? everyone's been saying for decades now, I guess, that Cereal Pharrell and Jack and Hagar are the same. It would be awesome to have some kind of conclusion there. And if- Jack and was Arya's mentor. I mean, mm-hmm. closure. I guess maybe not a loose end, but closure would be nice with some of this stuff. Uh huh. I it's agree. Not, not so much a, like I feel like Ilaria Sand is a loose end. I do too. I feel like Nun was a huge loose end. I really wanted to see her become like After the I mountain's described bride. that to you, right? Yeah. Oh, well, the mountain's bride. Okay. That not not so much the chopped up, mutilated thing like I was describing a couple weeks ago. Right. You prefer to bride a Frankenstein thing. Yeah. Either one would have been great. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's disappointing. Loose ends and necessary closure. Uh, but she also wants to know what happens to the baby boys christened by the Night King, Craster's babies that are still back there in the north somewhere. Mm. So we don't know. Like once you touch the baby and its eyes turn blue, we don't know. Do you still have to grow up as a White Walker or whatever? Did all the White Walkers just disintegrate when the big one? When when uh, we need to watch that? Well, again. they did. They did. They so did the, disintegrate. All in the, the field. ones in the north then too. But. We only ever saw one baby get turned. What if that baby was not going to be a White Walker? What if that baby was special? This isn't what Dana what said, would he but be? this is what I'm saying. The next Night King, who won't die instantly when the other Night King dies. Maybe the Night King gave some of his... Because like, you'd want a contingency some plan. Of juice. Like if you were going to go kill all humans, <laughs> but there's a chance you could fail, you save a backup plan. A little baby that's going to grow up up there. And then take the mantle of killing all humans. How do you think they um, grow? Well, what do they eat? Snow. That doesn't help you grow. <laughs> There's no like vitamins in snow. I, I I don't know. We've never seen any of them. Eat. Even the zombies didn't eat people, which I guess is why they weren't really zombies. They you were have to be whites, a eat but, a person eater in order to be a zombie. Well, zombies, yeah, they want to. They crave flesh, don't they? Brains, yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think there's again lots of questions that are unanswered. Uh, she did say Ari needs to finish her mission, regardless of the momentary lapse of uh, Freddy Cat. Well, she said regardless of momentary lapse of humanity. But right. Think- so she. Um, Humanity by like making friends with the hound and right. So she was showing humanity, Mm -hmm. but now she really needs to get back and finish her missions and kill the bad. She's doing something on that white horse. Yeah. So to address that, because I don't think we talked about this in our midweek episode. I don't remember where I was talking about about this or reading it. No, there's some something else. Someone else in the world was saying that the symbolism of the white horse has nothing to do with her being death and riding a pale horse. It's death? actually death. Death. T H death. Okay. <laughs> death okay. on the a reaper. pale horse. Yeah. <laughs> the reaper. Right. Has nothing to do with that. It's that she rode into King's Landing on a black horse ready to kill people. And she rode out of King's Landing mm. on a white horse because she realized violence isn't the answer. And mm. now she's just going to be a little girl again or something. Hmm. I don't like that because I prefer her as an instrument of death. So I'm just going to say no. What do you say? I think it has more significance than that. I think that, you know, Danny had a white horse that Drogon gave her. Drogo. Drogo, sorry. (laughs) Um, Took me that. I'm like, something doesn't sound quite right. I don't know. I just feel like it's got to be more than that. The little girl was holding the horse. And then died, and then there's a white horse, and she's 
writing out on it. I feel like it's something very significant. Mm -hmm. And I've seen multiple speculators that Bran sent the horse to her. Mm, Maybe he warged into the horse. Maybe. Where is Bran? He died. What? Bran's dead. What? No, he's not. The Night King was going to kill him. Oh, yeah. We have to watch it again. He's just back at Winterfell. I had too much wine that night. (laughs) Okay. We we haven't had time to watch it. We need to get some Game of Thrones wine again. Okay. I'll make that a mission for tomorrow. Um, Bevmo. Mm-hmm. Wines plus. Okay. Uh, and then um, Dana asked this question. Do you really want Sansa on the throne? I mean, she's your favorite. Well, it doesn't matter. The show's over. I still prefer Arya. I would like, yeah, I mean, I do want Sansa on the throne. She- on the throne. <laughs> She says, uh, Sansa seems kind of pathetic. She uh, ratted John out. She broke his sacred trust. Sansa was jealous of everyone, including John. Uh, but she would love to see Sansa and Danny go at it, a.k.a. Dynasties, Crystal, and Alexis. <laughs> so I think Dana is not only a woman, but a woman our age. Because <laughs> that shit is old. <laughs> yes, No it offense is. to Dana. Yes, it is. Um it was old when I started watching it. I never watched Dynasty, but I, I, I didn't even I back watched then. It very I was, rarely. Even back then, I was like a pop culture sponge from whatever it was, Saturday Night Live and other stuff. Uh, like I know those names. I um, was watching General Hospital instead. Well, that was a daytime soap. I know Dynasty was a primetime soap. I know, right up there with Dallas, which I also never watched but- after my bedtime. Yeah. What? <laughs> it was on like nine o'clock. You had to go. You, you were not in bed then. Liar. I was young when that was on. Yeah, so was I. I was younger. I was up past nine. I was watching Saturday Night Live. Why are we making our kids go to bed then at eight forty-five, nine? Because they get really whiny when. They're okay, tired. let's not talk about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I feel like Sansa. Um, yes. Defend the Sansa. I feel like she would be good on the throne. I mean, she's a bitch, but she, at least she's sane. Well, she'll make sure that people are She's not are a fed. mad queen. Right. She's not a mad queen. I think it's good that she wants people to eat. Mm-hmm. I think she would be good. But, but And she has experience. It's not like Trump's just coming in and with no experience. She has experience <laughs> in the in being in An executive that. leadership yeah. role. Well, no. She I mean, executive branch of government, not executive like Trump was an executive. Right. But right. she knows what it's all about and how it works. Sort of. A little bit. A little at bit. Least. Yeah. And Tyrion could be her hand and her husband. They never got a divorce. Right. I think that would be adorable. Adorable. I think Tyrion's going to die first, but it would be adorable. What? She'll just pat him on his head. Oh, God. I know. No, she won't. She's so tall. But doesn't Dana make some good points, though? I mean, Sansa's kind of... I mean, she's been a little shady, hasn't she? I think she was just doing what she thought was right for the... She didn't trust Danny, and for good reason. Danny's gone apeshit. It's true. Well, she she's hadn't. smart. She hadn't yet, but I guess Sansa knew she was gonna. Or she was just jealous. I don't know. There's a little bit of each. Potato, potato. I don't think she was jealous. I think she... I think she just did not trust her, and she didn't think that she had what was... She wasn't keeping everybody's best <laughs> sound you would think someone just stabbed a cat but it's really just the cat begging for food somewhere in the house <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have everybody's best interest at heart <laughs> uh okay and then uh finally from the mailbag uh because i wanted to say this for last lionheart just lionheart. wrote in he wrote in um and i might have said this already but Apparently, his usual – he has a friend, quote-unquote friend, that spoils a lot of Game of Thrones stuff for him. And I don't know where that dude gets his info from, but it's always been super accurate. And I certainly wouldn't give any spoilers here, of uh, course. But okay. the thing is, Lionheart wrote me to say that most of the spoilers he heard from this guy have already been a complete bust. So, Lionheart's friend, his source of information this year, was not so good. Hmm. <laughs> Which I think is good for Lionheart, because he needs to have some surprises left in his life. Why does he listen to this person? Because they're friends. Well, he could say, shut the fuck up, man. I don't want to hear your <laughs> goddamn predictions. Lionheart's nicer than us, I guess. I don't know. But this year, 
apart. I guess the big spoiler that came true was episode three, Night King Dies. But uh, he said you know, a lot of stuff hasn't come through. But he did say. Did you say episode three? Yeah, that was when the Night King died. That was the battle at Winterfell. Was it? Yep. Then four was more build up to things. And then five was the one we just saw. Oh, gosh. The Battle of King's Landing. Okay. So anyway, he does say, I guess he's pretty convinced that at least a little bit of his information is still accurate. And he says, brace yourself. One last beloved character death. And it isn't who you think it is. So now anyone listening to this has already seen who died, I imagine. So let's just make this last prediction good. Who could be the beloved character that's going to die in the last episode that we're not going to expect? We're not, we don't see this one coming. Uh, well, it could be John. It could be Danny. It could be Aria. It could be, not be Grey Aria. Worm. It could, it's probably Aria. Not Aria. It could be Aria. You take that back. <laughs> it could be Aria. Because that is the one that I don't expect to die. Well, Aria, Sansa. Arya's not going to die because she's amazing. But yeah, the, the no, one. I... The, yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> but where my mind went to was Sansa. Maybe something awful could happen. I, I, I do think the one thing, you know, I, I, I like the way Christian's prediction started out there that it's not the day after the battle. A couple that, weeks later. That we do fast forward a little bit to get mm-hmm. people coming in for this coronation. Like the only thing we've seen of this episode is that Danny comes down and there's a whole assembly and she's probably doing a self coronation ceremony. So it makes sense if she wanted other people to come bend the knee, the other se- the seven kingdoms to come on in. And that would mean Sansa's there. What if Danny flies straight to Winterfell <clears throat> and Drakkar says Sansa and the whole place? Just, just like, hey, I'm queen now, and then I'm out of here, and yeah, then she, she just goes because they're a problem. They wouldn't be able to do anything to stop her. No, <laughs> that would be fucked up. She's pretty pissed off. She doesn't want any resistance, it, right? She's full tyrant now, right? and she, you know, fear she, that that yeah. says that she'll just do whatever she wants, and nobody can stop her. <sighs> Fear will keep them in line. Fear of this battle station. I know that sounds retarded, but. <laughs> <laughs> I wish looks could be conveyed through. <laughs> well, we could do a video podcast. Uh-huh. I should I would have to wear pants. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I have to get out of my pajamas. <laughs> um, uh, Star Wars is not. <laughs> No, just listen to me. Listen. People are picturing you not wearing pants. <laughs> As well they should. <laughs> my lower half is much trimmer and fitter than my upper half. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Star Wars uh, is not really good science fiction. It's fantasy more than anything. I mean, okay. You've got wizards and knights running around with swords and they're laser swords, but still, like, it's really – very allegorical to a lot of old fantasy stuff, including they have to rescue the princess from the black knight and, you know, what? and the evil King. <coughs> and the one thing, if you, if you look at it allegorically to fantasy tropes, the death star, and I've said this before, not just today, the death star is the dragon. And I'm not the only one that's ever said that the death star is the fire breathing dragon. that could destroy everybody but they get one shot in and it's one weak point smog. I mean, it's, it's really a fantasy story more than science fiction. It's like you reskinned an old, like, you know, King Arthur or Hobbit or something kind of story. So that said, Danny is kind of like Darth Vader riding around on the death star. Okay. I don't know why I felt like saying all that. I don't either. Um, <laughs> well, the fear will keep them do you in line. Think that thing. <laughs> dino, or, um, dragons taste like chicken. <laughs> no, or, well, I mean they're like a lizard. Yeah, I would. Which think I they, hear snakes taste like chicken. Well, but we've had alligator. I yes, do you and think that tastes a little fishy. It tastes more fishy chicken. It tastes more like seafood. So I would mm-hmm. expect. I know alligator is supposed to taste like chicken too. I thought it. Well, I thought it had a consistency more like fish. Like sort of a scallop texture, more like fish. 
Okay, well, so dragons. I'm going to say dragon would be like a like a fish chicken, yeah. Chicken no, fish. Chicken they of the don't sea. have anything to do with water. Dragons taste like tuna. I think they taste like chicken or <laughs> rabbit, maybe, but rabbit tastes like chicken too. Okay. <laughs> well, we've made good progress. Here. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so uh, any other last? I was minute just thinking, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're both going off the, could. <laughs> we're going off the rails now. Feed this is the good. entire village. Someone should dredge him up. I mean, they need the food. You're absolutely right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I agree. Done. All right. Wait, so that's it. That's uh, it? <laughs> well, I, don't, I, I, I want to do the mailbag since, uh, you know, what with this being the end of the series, we might get some more mailbag opportunities over the next week or two, but then they're probably going to trail off. What are we going to do? We'll talk about that after. Aww. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, uh, no more Game of Thrones. Of course, we've only had five episodes. It's really yeah. not like we got our fill. No, we definitely did not. I'm so disappointed. It's the biggest criticism of the season. It's just not long enough. <sighs> but yeah. that said. Why didn't I just don't hmm? I really wish they would explain. I really wish they explain why they did only six episodes. They even made some of them shorter that they could have put so much more in. Yep. Especially <sighs> Were they just, just done? Were they tired? <laughs> They didn't want to do it anymore. I, I, yeah. I wish they would close all those threads. Maybe. But they're not gonna. Well, maybe they're doing that because of George's book and they didn't want to like, I don't know, take any thunder away from it. Hey, but you know what? It's an hour and a half. It almost, it's almost the, like a feature length movie. Maybe there won't be much fighting, and maybe we'll actually get closure on most of the things that we want closure on. Maybe it will be an amazing ending of a show. It's still I hope possible. So. I it know, is still I know. possible. I think Jamie's alive. That's nuts. But I'll I'll stand by it. I hope he's alive. If it meant he had to stay alive by eating Cersei, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was just. A t- I really want to watch it again. Gonna, I feel like we probably missed some things. We're gonna I know watch. I we're we're gonna rewatch all this. I was yeah. all. Tired and sh- drunk. Shit-faced. <laughs> Shit drunk. <laughs> Shrunk-faced. All right. Well, well, we'll rewatch soon. For now, I think we should try to get some sleep, even though we're super excited. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Let's see. Now you're yawning. I'm yawning. I'm proud of you. You're finally coming down off that high. We can get some sleep now. Tomorrow. So, mm-hmm. <sighs> so thank you to everybody who wrote in. We're going to uh, stop the recording now, and when you hear us again, we will have watched the finale. And God help us if it sucks. Mm. But it won't suck. I wonder if I'll cry. Stay positive. I think I'll cry. You'll probably cry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> 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 All right, we're less than an hour till showtime now. We're going to hit some man-on-the-street interviews. Everything is a buzz. So let's see what the people are thinking. What's going to happen tonight? Please tell us who you are and what are your predictions for this evening? My name is Bimo, son of Bava, leader of the free peoples of Corona, California. And tonight I think Daenerys Targaryen will die. I don't know by who. My thinking would be Arya, but I feel that's a little bit too predictable. And I also think that Sir Pounce will take the throne. That's a brave and bold prediction, sir. Thank you. All right, and your name is? I'm Shannon. All right, so uh, what do you think is going to happen tonight? Any big deaths? Any big, I don't know, people sitting on the throne? What's going to happen? Well, I think that John, in some way, shape, or form, is going to have to bring Daenerys back from the brink of madness to her original self, and then he's going to have to die. I don't know how, but I th- I feel like he's like living on borrowed time since he's come back, and he's like his big thing for coming back is going to be to save Daenerys, and then once he's done that, it, he will then be done with his mission and he will die. All right, that's an interesting prediction. So like Beric came back because he had a job of getting stabbed for Arya, mm-hmm. 
John's job will be to turn Daenerys back to the light side? Yes. Yes, that is my prediction. All right. And does she end on the throne? Is she is she our queen? Um, I don't think there is going to be a throne in the way that we've seen before. So I think somehow there's going to be a dispersal of power that's different. Democratic? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Good luck tonight. Uh, to you as well. All right. Here we go. I got a pair here. We have... Kyle. Monet. All right. And what do you guys think is going to happen tonight? So... Arya's going to kill um, Daenerys, and then Jon's going to die, and Gendry is going to take the throne. I think Arya is going to kill Danny, but Arya is going to take the throne, because she's been such this powerful fighter. She has not given up. She's learned the way of uh, any obstacle that comes in her way. She, kinda, she knows how to play the game. She knows how to weave back and forth, and I think she's just going to take it all. All of it. Any major deaths tonight? What are you predicting? Daenerys. Jon Snow. Daenerys, Jon Snow, and Arya. Tyrion, too. Uh, Peter Dinklage. I kind of feel like he's going to... This is his last episode. I never know his character name. I just Well, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely his last episode. Yes, so but he it, has to die. <laughs> so Tyrion is yes. doomed. Tyrion yeah, is that's doomed. That's your prediction. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree? You both yeah. agree Tyrion's doomed. And mm-hmm. Arya? Yeah, I think she's going to die. How is she going to die? Who's going to kill our... Sweet little super ninja. The dragon. No name? No, she's... I don't know. I don't think she's going to die. Gonna kill Daenerys, and but she's not going to die. The dragon is going to kill Arya. No. Well, the dragon will probably die. Drogon doesn't make it. I don't think Drogon makes it. No. Oh, well, I don't know. I think he'll... But he's been such a good boy. <laughs> I think it'll be hard to just have a dragon roaming Westeros with no master. Well, if John John and Daenerys and... Yeah. Yeah. But when Gendry wins the throne, so. So Gendry on the throne. So what happens when Gendry doesn't get it? What do what do we get? What, what are you putting on the line here? Because I don't think he's gonna. A really, a really good high five. <laughs> Please don't fight, you guys. <laughs> it's all gonna be okay. I think. Do you think Westeros will be okay? No. Will there be a happy ending for Westeros? No. Oh, no. no happy endings. I don't think so. No. All right. Well, that's bleak, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone dies, and uh, it's the end. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. I found another young man eager to make predictions about tonight. Your name is? Rob. All right, Rob. So, is there a happy ending for Westeros? That's the topic we were just talking about. Of course not. Of course not. No, there's no, no happy ending in Game of Thrones. <sighs> It'd right. be such a disappointment if there was. Well, does that mean Daenerys wins, the new tyrant? No, Jon Snow has to assassinate her. All right. And then so, forever pine. <laughs> so Jon Snow kills Daenerys, mm-hmm. and then he takes the throne? That would be a happy ending, wouldn't it? I think he kind of renounces it. Oh. He never wanted it to begin with. He, he does a piece out. Okay. So who is in charge when all this is over? I don't know. Arya, I guess. Arya for the throne. Yeah. Yes. Why not? That's who I've been rooting for this whole time. <laughs> Tonight, I've already heard once tonight that Arya's going to die, which has really brought me down. So it's good to hear that there, she has a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Put a stamp on her. Good. That's so it. So she, she's going she's gonna to win. All right. Cool. Now Elaine. All right. So as promised, here's Elaine. Mm-hmm. Say hi, Elaine. Hi. All right. So do you think there's a happy ending in store for us? I think that Danny is going to die. Um, I think that Jon Snow is going to be weeping crying as he would be um and i think that Arya is going to kill danny okay Mm -hmm. does Arya survive that yes what happens to drogon Mm. he'll survive right no one will kill our sweet drogon no okay good yeah all right Tyrion. um I don't know. He has really just dis- disappointed me this whole season. Oh. He's been very... Shame on him. Yes. He's been <laughs> not as intelligent as he should be and very emotional. Um, so, there's a good possibility he could die. All right. So, mm-hmm. final call then. Who's on the throne? 
Oh, gosh. I feel like they're going to put Jon Snow on it, but I feel that that shouldn't happen. Okay. And I would like, of I course... I agree. I don't think that should happen. Yes, but I feel like that might be what's happening because he's like, everyone loves him, so they're going to end. He is literally the second coming. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be a disappointment. No offense to John. Yes. But... Of course, I love Arya, so I would love her to be the ruler. Yay, Arya on the throne. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, but their uh, Sansa is really wants it. Think she has a shot? I don't think she does. I think if there was another season, she would have a shot. <laughs> but there isn't. Okay. But she definitely wants it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see. But Danny is gonna die. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. back everyone to pod of thrones i'm jeff i'm jennifer so you may you definitely heard our one night before the big show recording we started uh-huh. with that and you probably just also heard a few snippets of conversations with people in our house oh did we get everybody yes but Yay. i haven't had time to listen back so I probably put them in front of the show as oh. the la- as the last minute predictions, but just in case, it, if it didn't work out, then I'm sorry. <laughs> if it didn't work out, I'll still put it. I'll put it at the end of this episode. So mm. if you want to listen to the, why don't you just put it at the beginning? The well, if it's just really hard to listen to, like noise wise. Okay, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we had a bunch of people over for a final episode watch party, and how do you think that went? Well, the food was good. <laughs> yes. That's um, not so much what I was talking about. I had about. some awesome summer sausage in, in <laughs> memory of Theon. Yes, that's been a thing. Also, for us. Varys, maybe. Uh, and all the Solid. <laughs> and now they're Solid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grey Worm is. Grey Worm got Solid a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm like disappointed or let down, but I'm. A little bit flat, like there weren't enough. It was just, you know, we're so used to being like intense. Remember that time when Arya stabbed the Night King and the whole room erupted in cheers? Yes, we had none of that. That did not happen. Everybody was absolutely quiet the whole time, except for me. Every once in a while, I'd be like, fucking whoever. (laughs) (laughs) I don't remember who was, but. um, There were no wow moments. There were no wow moments. That's right. That's that was the problem. I was I didn't have a problem with how it ended or the outcome of who was on the throne. Yeah, yeah, yada. No, I didn't. I wasn't upset with. Well, yeah, I was. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking more of Sansa, the Queen of the North. Right. So you did get that. I did get that. You always wanted Sansa. That was my prediction. She mm-hmm. was going to be a queen. I thought she was going to be on the throne, but. Um, I would have been happier if there were just more intense moments. Yeah. Like, even when John killed Daenerys, I didn't, it wasn't like, (gasps) you know, it was just kind of like, huh, well, I thought that was coming. But then he kissed her, so that kind of threw me off. And then he stabbed her while kissing. I still had a little bit of what happened. How did he get his hand in there when you're kissing so close to somebody? How do you put your hand up there and then have enough force to stab him? Uh, Up there. (laughs) Well, I mean, it was in her heart or chest area. Oh, yeah. That is a little bit weird. Right. Unless her boob was like to the right and he was to the left. So like he's holding her with one arm and then his other arm while he's kissing her quietly pulls out. His dagger, and she doesn't feel which that. She didn't feel going. No, past it was her. his dagger. So that might have been like on his hip or in his somewhere. Boot. But then <laughs> he lifts up his leg. Like, he would have had to dagger. come around. 
<laughs> you see, like, his shoe in the air over his own shoulder. He's trying to shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great animation. If there's anyone out there that feels like animating something, that'd be funny as hell. Um, I feel like that was sloppy. Well, I, it gave me the same feeling that I had when Ramsey hugged and then stabbed Bruce Bolton, which was, wait, what just happened? I think someone just got stabbed. Who stabbed who? Because they mm-hmm. both look surprised. Right. Yeah. I don't know how, how that technically could have worked. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't, like, surprised. And I wasn't, you know, I mean, it was clear that it was building up to John and her having having to resolve this everything, you know? Their relationship, her being queen and being a mad queen all of a sudden. And she's just like Hitler, basically. Well, <laughs> or was Thanos. She, was she a mad queen? I mean... She might have not. I mean, I she, think that when she gets mad, she gets mad. And it's kind of crazy mad. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But I, I, you know what? I probably... No. I don't want to say I would do the same thing. But your emotions get a hold of you when you're riding a dragon. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I can't... If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. <laughs> you just... You can't... <laughs> <laughs> It's a that, magical moment. That should, be a, that should be the next, like, Disneyland ride or something. Yes. Ride a dragon. Game of Thrones. Oh, a Game of Thrones theme park would be pretty awesome. Oh, remember that one? Or really depressing. Which one? The medieval theme park that we watched. Uh, we watched something about a medieval <laughs> theme park where pe- they it was kind of like Fire Festival. Like, all these people bought tickets and were like, oh, shit. Oh, we, better- no, we didn't watch something on that. That was our friends who went to that. Was it? That was Shannon and Beemel, who you heard hopefully oh God, at the begin yes. at the beginning of this episode. That's right. Maybe we should have them on to tell a story of what happens at a medieval theme park. Yes, it was hilarious. It uh, would be great. We should a, do that. Quite a Sorry, story. I way sidetracked. Yeah, we sidetracked a little bit, but it's been a it's been a hell of a night. Okay, so I just looked it up because again, didn't tell us during the episode, but this episode was called. Any guesses? Seventy six. What? Seventy two. Wait, why? I don't know. That's what I said. It, like when I hit play, I saw it said 76, I think. Well, yeah, that's, that's the episode, the episode number. number. I know. Right. I didn't see a name. No, there was no name. No, mm-hmm. that's why I'm asking. Do you have any guesses as to what the name was? Because they've been keeping all secrets. Yes, I would say that it is uh, The Long Day. <laughs> <laughs> John Snow's No Good, Super Long, Very Bad Day. Yes. That was the name of the episode. <laughs> Yeah, it's called the Iron Throne. Oh, which is All right. really not a very good name. The Melted Throne is yeah. a better name. That was pretty cool. There's no throne anymore, so that was always one of the options. Was that my second runner-up option? I wanted Arya to be on the throne, but I thought there was a good chance there would be no throne. I don't right? Remember how hard we mentioned I that several times. We, hmm. You know, we've uh, we've had several ideas, and one of that was definitely up there. Yeah, but going along with the lack of a throne was that George R. R. Martin would be a big fan of power to the people and democracy. And we saw I thought that was what we, I mean. That's yeah. and then they laughed. Fuckers. All right. Wait. wait. <laughs> okay. So let's start at the beginning, okay, shall we? Okay. This is okay. let's do a quick clue. Um, credits. We someone pointed out that uh, the lion was missing over the Iron Throne that you right. see in the beginning credits. I would have to go back and watch the other credits now to be like, oh yeah, look, there's a lion there because I never mm-hmm. thought about it. Mm-hmm. There's so much we should a, watch, like every one back to back. Every credits. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, that'd take a long time. <laughs> Not as long as rewatching the whole show. Um, okay, so we start with Tyrion walking through the ashes. I don't know if it's the same day, maybe the next day. I don't know. Uh, all these bodies, people that are mangled and burned and walking past them. He's- he is such a great actor. He said everything with his face. Yes. I love There him. are times when very little dialogue is good. And mm-hmm. there are times when not as good, which maybe we'll talk about by the end of this. But yes, Peter Dinklage is amazing. He is a national treasure. Uh, we see Nora's kid's horse again. Right. That's where Tyrion, Tyrion of course, stops it. and is like, oh, yeah, that's weird. too much. This child is one child too many. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he says he's going to go talk to Danny alone, which turns out that's not even where he's going, but whatever. Uh, John's just kind of strolling through the city, surveying more damage with Davos, and they see Grey Worm with a bunch of Lannister soldiers lined up, and Grey Worm's gonna kill them. Grey Worm gone cuckoo. 
for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Grey Worm, well, he's he's lost his love. He's all yeah, about revenge now. He's all mad. Without Masande, he's just dark. He's like Kylo Ren. Hmm. Interesting. Well, you definitely reverted back to a time when the Unsullied were just machines of violence, right? Like, that's what they were brought up to be. Right. And then he found love, and then they got ripped away, and then Danny's like, well, violence, I guess. And he's like, cool, violence, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So he just was happy to go along for the ride. I wonder if it was more out of loyalty for Danny or more out of, like, I just want to kill these motherfuckers. (sighs) Or equal. Um, I think it was equal. He was happy to do it. He wanted revenge. Mm. His orders were, quote, kill all who follow Cersei Lannister. Mm-hmm. At she, that point, I mean, Cersei's dead. Did, now, they I, don't follow I was, her anymore. The one thing I was thinking was like, does Daenerys know that Cersei's dead? Because Tyrion went to go find the bodies, but... I mean, I think he, it's assumed. This whole show, you had to make a lot of assumptions. <laughs> like... Yeah. It, the the scene that was next it all like it went right from when Tyrion was crying i think that right from there it went to arya who we last saw riding out a horse yeah. Oh, yeah. to being <laughs> back in the same place like she never left why'd she get on the horse where'd she go did they film several different endings i think we heard that they did so maybe that was part of a different ending oh man yeah i wasn't thinking about that all night but it's something that had come up recently was for all the spoilers that are out there, they might, for all the disappointment that the actors may or may not have been expressing, they might not have known how the show was actually going to end. Mm-hmm. I don't think they did. I think they kept it tight lipped because <sighs> they didn't want any leaks, but also. Yes. <laughs> nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there's almost a confrontation between John and the Unsullied, which probably wouldn't have gone well for John. Um, so he backs down. He says they're going to go speak with Danny, but there's nothing you can do to stop these particular guys from being executed in the moment. Right, so. unless he wants to fight, and then he's going to get his ass whooped because all those guys were ready to. Who were those guys? Were those the Unsullied that were spear- with the spears? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. because their co- their outfits looked different. I. Uh, maybe they were just dirty. Dirty battle. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> I thought they were wearing armor. They wear like they leather. Wear, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but you thought it was metal? Yeah. Armor? Mm. I thought it was. No, I don't know. Um, right. So we see Grey Worm just start slitting Lannister soldier throats. That's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tyrion heads for the crypts, not Daenerys, and he finds a way to climb through the rubble. He's not the most physical of lads, but okay, good for him. He, he did got, a good job. Yeah, that must have been dangerous. We didn't have to see all that, but he gets through. He finds the crypts and he finds Jamie's hand. Now, they only had all those bricks on him, like one layer of bricks. Yeah, what a pussy. He shouldn't have died. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it was only one layer. I think maybe it makes a difference when you've resigned yourself to die, too. Like, Jamie had lost the will to live. Yeah, after he went back to Cersei. So he'll just take those blows to the head and just stop moving. (sighs) But hey, they died in each other's arms. They sure did. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? They got to be in one more episode. And I wonder if... So they never... Damn it. What? They never like talked about Cersei being pregnant or not pregnant. Well, I guess we have to assume that she was. Uh, So her baby died too. Well, yeah. But she was never going to give birth. At least that part of the prophecy came true. Sad. I was sad for them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would have forgiven a lot if Cersei just would have been like, you know what? I'm beaten. I'll just go. Because she could have set up a sweet deal. She yeah, could have like, she could have been like, yeah, you give me this and I'll leave. Right. Uh, I will take this and, and this. I'll go back to Lannisport. I'll be the lady of Lannisport and I'll live happily ever after. And you can just fuck off to the throne. She didn't want to do that. Right. So. And I don't understand why, because ruling does not look fun. It looks very stressful. Yes. <laughs> and backstabby. Yeah. Let's I wonder that. if it's, <laughs> never mind. I was <laughs> Prince William and, is that his name? Or is he Harry? Prince Harry. William and what's the... I, 
I think Kate. it's William and Kate. Right. I think that's what they're having to deal with all the time. Yes, mm-hmm. probably. Backstabbing, like politics. That, yeah. Or just trying to stay out of the tabloids. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. So Tyrion cries a lot. Uh, as it says in my notes, they did. Uh, so that was that for for Jamie and Cersei. At least we got confirmation because they were the people on the internet like with their really wild conspiracy theories. Okay. And then all of a sudden, we have Arya. She's walking through the city. And then she, there's a bunch of Dothraki. And then we see John, And then we see a bunch of Unsullied. And then it turns out we're at a big old ceremony. Yeah. Kind it's of like, who told everybody to nowhere. like form? Okay. In formation, she's going to be landing right here. We missed, we missed a lot. In we the, got the landing lights on and all the logistics were thrown out the window this season. Yeah. Look, season one was like 50% logistics. Right. Like how we get from point A to point B. Oops. I dropped my notes. <laughs> but yeah, this season is no logistics at all. We've given up. Um, okay. There's a huge staircase. I assume that's a staircase we've seen before, but it's all ruined and stuff. Uh, we see Grey Worm up at the top. Oh, there was a really cool shot. I mean, kudos to the cinematographer yeah, or special that was pretty effects. Badass. It's some combination. I guess maybe the director for figuring it out. But no, yeah. Or maybe it was a special person that said, hey, how about we do this? And he threw it in there. And they're like, yeah, that's badass. Daenerys, I'm sure everyone knows what we're talking about. Daenerys walking towards those big stairs. And Drogon behind her, and it looks like she has wings unfurling. That was pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Highlight of the episode. Maybe. One of them. At the very least. I guess. All right. So she gives a big old speech. She promotes Grey Worm. He is now her master of war. Mm-hmm. Is that's, that a new title? That's fair. Uh, Are there masters of war? I'm sure there used to be, but that's probably not very politically I, correct. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know if... Uh, the small council had a master of war per se. I'm, I'm trying to think now, but was that on, I don't know if that was on the list. Bran probably wouldn't have a master of war, so it might not have been on the list either way. Uh, all right. But she says the war is not over. We must liberate the whole world. That does start to take on a little Hitlerish vibe, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> With the, so like the thumping and the chanting and I don't, she's going to go through and burn the whole world and then it'll be all good. Only capital cities, maybe? I don't know. But she listed off everything. At first, she was talking about Westeros from, like, Winterfell to Dorne. Right. Which starts, I mean, immediately ominous, because Winterfell's on her list. Mm -hmm. But then she listed, like, you know, she was back at Slaver's Bay and Mm -hmm. Points Beyond and Bravos and everything. She's going to break all the wheels. Go for it. Make a grand new empire. She might have the only army left in the world. That's entirely possible. Well, there's some North Westeros. Well, no. I mean, who's left? She took the Unsullied. She destroyed the Golden Company. Oh, I she, don't know what is there. I mean, there's got to be more to that world that we <laughs> haven't heard of. Yeah, well, there are. Well, there, there, the, it's kind of amazing, actually. I got lost in it a couple weeks ago of like stuff that's not in the parts of Westeros and Essos that we've seen. And there are some pretty interesting sounding civilizations written into Game of Thrones lore that we have not seen at all. And wow, who, knows who wrote if we them will. into it? George. I mean, he, where is this information? Oh gosh, there's a Game of Thrones like companion or something. I think that dives into more of the history. Like stuff will get mentioned in the books of just like, well, and then this person that I just met was bigger than the person than the hills of Trarg or something. And then you're like, well, what's Trarg and why are the people there so big? And then, you know, you go to this companion book and it tells you all about Trarg. Trarg. I'm probably making someone very mad right now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) Kevin's going to be like, all right. (laughs) <laughs> All right, dumbasses, stop with this Trog nonsense. I'm running for president of Trog 2020. Uh, okay, so she asked them, will you break the wheel with me? And it's all the chanting and drum, drum, yes, drum, we drum, drum, the thumping of the spears. Mm-hmm. Tyrion looks grim and approaches her. What were you thinking? I thought he might try to stab her. He's like, well, I got to um, do it. I got to take her out. No? No, I knew. I mean, he's not like that. Can you imagine him running up and trying to stab Daenerys? Not well, not running. That would look silly. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I felt like no, I didn't think he was going to try and kill her. I think he, I thought he was going to say, "You're, you knock it off, because mm-hmm. you're fucking up." But I thought that she was going to have Dragon eat him or burn him. I think we were going to come to that. Yeah. 
never quite got there. Yeah, I guess. She didn't do it immediately, which was a little surprising. Right. I thought she was going to do it right there. Yeah. There is that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, instead, she <laughs> just has they're all chanting and shouting. She's like, hey, buddy, you've committed treason. And he says, well, you've slaughtered a city. And he takes his pin and he tosses it away. And of course, even though it's like a thousand feet between everybody, people notice the flying right. pin down the <laughs> a pin <laughs> dropping down some stairs. <laughs> they all start paying close attention. Like all of the unsullied are gonna rush forward just to stab Tyrion. Yeah. But he does get arrested. I, I thought it was a little too nice. They she said. Yeah, they take didn't even them. touch him. Right. You saw, you you know that too. Yeah. yeah. Take the take him and he's just like, all right, I'm well, gonna Well it would have been way. weird. They'd be like holding his hand, like doing the swing thing. <laughs> that would that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh so John looks upset. Uh but Daenerys leaves, he watches her walk away, and then all of a sudden Arya's there. Again, right. awesome. She, I out love of nowhere. Her. She's so cool. Um they talk about that John's like, Well, she's the queen, what am I gonna do? And Arya's reminding her that Sansa's not going to bow. And then what happens? Mm-hmm. <sighs> no bending the John knee. John looked pretty sick in the end there. Like, his face was... He was probably a little stressed out, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Under some pressure. And Arya's like, don't follow him, John. You know, she, I can tell a killer when I see one. Mm-hmm. And then the next scene is what I thought was him following her. Like, I thought he was going into her throne room. It's like, well, don't follow her, John. So John follows her. But then I had to scratch it out. Right. John goes to Tyrion's cell. And they have a little talk, a lengthy conversation. Some interesting things. Is there life after death? Tyrion wants to know. John says not that he saw. What um, do you think? What? Is there life after death? Oh, dare to dream, but probably not. I, it would be great if there was, but I, I, I just find I think that there hard isn't. to believe. Yeah, and that's sad. Fade to black. Fade to black. That's all there is. Um, let's see. Tyrion says our queen's nature is fire and blood. That was a nice quote. Uh, but John's like, well, if her nature is fire and blood, why is it my nature fire and blood? Because it turns out I'm a Targaryen too. Meh. Uh, but John seems like he's trying to get her back, you know, or get her back. You know, like you say, like, look, she did what she had to do. We're going to make this better. She's trying. <laughs> uh, and Tyrion's whole thing was like, every time she killed people before, it was like evil men and we cheered. And then she killed some more evil men and she cheered and, and we all cheered for her. But now, now she thinks everything she does is right and good and wonderful. Um, mm-hmm. uh, here another good line. Tyrion loves her. John loves her. He uh, he is not. John, Tyrion has not loved her as successfully as John. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> See, but I knew it. I knew he wanted to get in her pants. I All think right. you told me. I think you told me I was wrong about. That. I thought you were wrong. Um, they have a duel of quotes. Love is the death of duty. John says. Maester Aemon said that. And Tyrion fires back with sometimes duty is the death of love, Mm -hmm. which I guess is how this all turned out, maybe on a number of levels. Yep. And John's like, well, she's the queen, buddy. Sorry. Pats Tyrion on the shoulder and he takes off. Well, yeah. Tyrion pleads with him to do something. Right. But John says he's not gonna. Mm -hmm. And then he takes a walk and walks past this snowy hill which turns out to be Drogon. Maybe they just did that so we could see that Drogon likes John. Well, I, I guess so. That was like kind of reinforcing what happened in the end. I guess so. Yeah. He sniffed John, was like, hey, you're cool, and then went back to sleep. So that just, okay. Yeah, I can't wait to get to that part. Well, here comes Danny in the throne room. Okay. Very long. <laughs> Her walking up to the throne. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of long shots. Mm-hmm. Um, the throne room is uh, much more ruined than in Daenerys' original vision. I don't think like, so. There were some holes in the ceiling, but like this was completely open air throne. I don't think it was like that back at Pia Pri's vision. I think it was. <sighs> well, we're going to have to go back and look now. But it, I think it might have been snowier. In the vision? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there was more snow on the ground. Which is weird, because there were less holes in the ceiling. Unless I'm wrong. But, um, but there she is. And it is snowing. It wasn't just ash, because that was another point of speculation, was that 
Danny would literally be queen on the of the ashes or over the ashes because hmm. there would just be ashes. Yeah, it could have been ashes. Some of it was. I mean, there I mean, was, it was already a plant Andrew. growing. Well, yeah. Um. Okay, so she touches the. She's awed by the throne and touches it, and then you see John behind her coming up into the throne room, and they have a conversation about how majestic the throne is, and it was made of a thousand swords and yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. Have you have you ever seen the pictures of what the Iron Throne looks like in the books? Or like what the book interpretation of it is, like the official. No, I don't think art. so, huh? Like it's more like what Danny described of like this mountain of swords that would be almost impossible to climb. Like it's huge and it's like that's cool, way up into the sky, and it's just swords everywhere, 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 piles mm-hmm. of them. Huh. Uh, Do they get welded on? Yeah, they were all stuck together over the years. I think probably just kept adding to it. Uh, okay, so John yells at her a little bit. He's mad about executing people in the streets. Mm-hmm. He's mad about children being burned alive. Mm-hmm. He asked for forgiveness for, as I wrote, the damned, basically. He didn't say that, but you know, mm-hmm. whether it's Tyrion or the Lannister soldiers or any of these people, please forgive them. He uh, Right, yeah. He's like, all you have to do is tell them, make them understand. Yeah. And she says, we cannot hide behind small mercies. <laughs> and sure enough, she says that she knows what's good for the people. Which is pretty much what Tyrion was saying. What does that mean exactly? We cannot hide behind small mercy. I know I know that she's saying we can't. I, that just doesn't even well, make sense. It's like Tyrion's dying for the greater good of sending a message that treason's not okay, but we're also going to go around freeing everybody unless we kill everybody. I don't know. It, look, yeah. she's a little crazy. Okay. She, she's trying very hard to justify her actions, but um, to uh, most She's of not us, trying. She believes it. Well, she does believe it. Sure. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, But she still had to come up with that small mercies line while believing herself. Um, Right. So she talks about what the great new world they could build together. And then they kiss. We already had that scene with those two a few episodes ago. Um, But it does crescendo to this passionate kiss. You're my queen. You'll always be my queen. That's what... Kissing is like for them? Yeah, Mm. I think so. Gross. (laughs) (laughs) And then comes the confusing stab. I was confused at first. I mean, it didn't seem likely that Daenerys would stab Jon, but yet, on the other hand, she didn't trust him. So it is, I considered it a possibility. And the best Uh, way. Yes, for sure. You know, a non fighter like Daenerys, if she was. Get him close, kiss him. Right. Get him under your spell. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Use her feminine wiles. She was under his spell. Apparently. Yeah, he got her. He stuck her good. Yeah. Now, how did he get the knife there? I I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're I think you're right, and there is some valid criticism to be had there. I think even from the angle we saw, which was not a lot, like we could only see kind of shoulders and up, I think we still would have had to see his arm move. Right. At more least or to, and even doing you got it's not yeah. easy. You don't just and the noise that it made <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to bury deep in her chest. Yeah. It it uh a little weird. But they made it confu I think they made it confusing on purpose, so we didn't know what happened for a second there. Um Yeah. I don't know. It's gotta be plausible. That's the thing with if you're gonna have a fantasy show, you gotta make it plausible. Just enough to be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like that was plausible. <laughs> It's a little tough to believe, but it was properly and, dramatic. And you think it was properly dramatic? I think it was not. No? No. Like I said, I just felt like it was okay. It was abrupt. Not really. I don't know. I mean, how? <sighs> I don't know what I'm expecting. I don't know why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. <laughs> <sighs> We're going to work through this. This is like therapy. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. What does my note say? Danny Darkside down. No more Danny Darkside. Mm-hmm. She's out. She was the only death this episode. I haven't even checked the bingo cards. We had, oh, I forgot to give out bingo prizes. Well, oh. she knows the Lannisters. What I, were the bingo prizes? I, ah, I got some cute little like Game of Thrones, like those blind box figures. Oh, I, I want those. those. Well, you get one because you had a Yay. bingo. <laughs> I'll find it later. Okay. Uh, all right. So Daenerys, dead. And then we hear Drogon start roaring. He can feel it even from a distance, which does say something about 
a whole question of like warging, even you know, like lore master Kevin was saying, like it's almost like warging when you're riding on a dragon. So they had some deeper connection besides just, you know. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she didn't like tell, I, I bet she wasn't going back and forth when he was just like doing a line mowing. She wasn't like, Dracarys, Dracarys, Dracarys. Right. <laughs> yeah. He just over. knows exactly what to do. Yeah. That's, that's very true. Uh, we hear the far off roar. John starts to brace himself. Drogon lands and starts freaking out. Oh, no, he doesn't freak out. He starts nudging her with his yeah, nose. He's a puppy. That, he's like a puppy. That was pretty sad. <laughs> that's what Sophie would do if you died. I loved that part. Yeah. That part was nice. Humanizing Drogon. Sophie would be so lost. Sophie wouldn't know how to pick you up and take you away. <laughs> <laughs> but before that happened, Drogon went bitch cakes on the Iron Throne. Yeah, I loved that part because he was like, I still want to burn you, but I can't because you're a Targaryen and you're proper king of the world. <laughs> and then... There's a chance that they could still have a reunion someday. Who? Drogon and John. True, but we're not going to get to see that. No, we're probably not. We'll just imagine it happened. Yeah. We'll dream it. <laughs> we'll write our own epilogues. Uh, yeah, so he melts the hell out of the Iron Throne. So that's one solid thing that could have been predicted by people as a part of an ending. And yeah, you know, it happened. So Daenerys might have sort of really broken the wheel by at least eliminating the Iron Throne. Mm, but that wasn't her intention. No, she didn't it, do it. Dro Drogon did that. Right. He broke the wheel. He did it for her, though. But it, she he, is him, I right, guess. Right, you're right. Drogon, breaker of wheels. King of the North. So if her spirit is partly in Drogon, perhaps she really did love John, and that's why Drogon didn't burn. Like a Harry Potter Horcrux situation. Mm. You don't even know, know what that means, do you? I, <laughs> I would if I was not if, right now. If, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't in my Game of Thrones mode. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. We then cut to, so, oh, then Drogon picks up Daenerys and flies off. Yeah, that was kind of cute. I think it'd be neat if he took her to a volcano and, like, dropped her in just to see if she would, like, resurrect from the flames and become this horrible fire elemental like the Night King, only worse. Oh, that would have been cool. But we didn't see that this episode. <laughs> Maybe next. <laughs> Maybe next episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that surprise seventh episode. We haven't, you know. Right. We'll, we'll be watching for it next week. Next Sunday. Yep. <laughs> Tune in. Uh, okay. We then cut to Tyrion laying around. And I feel like if I went back and watched it, I would notice more of a time lapse. I didn't notice it at the time. But I think that's what that long shot on Tyrion's face was there to do. Did his beard grow? Uh, maybe. It would, it would merit a rewatch. But I think, looking back now, because his beard was so much bushier in the next scene... So I think the idea was we were watching time pass through him so that we knew something was going on. Hmm. But again, I'd have to watch it again to confirm that. That's just my guess. But we do see Tyrion laying around for a long time. Grey Worm takes him to the dragon pit. And all of a sudden, boom, there's fucking everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. And that was nice for some closure, at least, that we got to see certain characters again. But it was weird. It's a little weird. But that's because... The transition. Like at the time, I don't think we knew that time had passed. I think that's the problem. The transitions didn't go easy, so it felt yeah. like it was kind of disjointed. Yeah, no, I agree. That's a shame. Maybe it's our fault for not noticing Tyrion's beard grow, but even then, it still it would have been a little... It has nothing to do with Tyrion's it, beard. It still would have been a little jarring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, what? Sansa's in the dragon pit? I don't even what think the? his beard was that much longer, so... And Bran's there. Right, but it only takes like three hours to get from the north. <laughs> As we know. <laughs> right, to King's Landing. <laughs> they just hopped in their car and came on over. Mm -hmm. uh, there was only one guy that I didn't recognize, like the big fat northerner. Maybe he was from Oak Kalen, maybe... Oh, I think that was... I, um, I'm not sure who that was. That was Mira's dad. Oh, shit. Was that Howland Reed? I think so. Oh. Well, if it was, it would have been great if they would have identified him. That would have been nice. Yeah. Now, that's another thing I want to go back and try to figure out now. Good point, babe. I had not thought of that. But I was angry that we didn't see Mira. Yeah, that's kind of strange. This season. It's all strange. It's a bit strange. <sighs> they just left a lot of shit on the cutting room floor. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so who else and was And why? It? Why did they do that? I don't know. 
I wish I knew. Mm. They could have made this seven episodes, eight episodes, and just given us everything we wanted. All the closures. Um, but everybody was there. I mean, it was quite a cast. We got to see Robin Aaron. Yeah, he's good looking. Lord Royce was there with Robin. But Robin looked like a normal functioning drinker. person. <laughs> yeah, he did. He didn't he he wasn't what I was hoping for, which was like some huge hulking buff stud, mm. but he did look like a normal adult. Well, he was pretty handsome. Yeah. Uh Edmure Tully. Hooray. That but, made me feel better. There was a little closure there and that we know he's around. Yeah, I love that he tried to get up and <laughs> give a speech that he was going to get like they I mean, it started off okay to me, but I I you know he he wasn't really fit to be king. No, can you imagine? He'd be he would turn into like Robert eventually. Drinking all the time and screwing all the time. Edmir would be screwing all the time? Yeah. Oh, he's too meek. Psh, he'd get power <laughs> uh, well, yeah. power drunk. Uh, so it was representations of like all the great houses that are still alive, so there were some houses that weren't there, but the Tarleys were there. Sam was there representing them. I thought he was there representing the Citadel, but he did make a point of saying that they were all there representing the great houses. Mm-hmm. So I guess he got his name back. His dad is dead. Right. Well, like, but he was disowned and he took the black and, you know, you're not, you're not a member of the royal house anymore. Things are different now. I know. Which is good. They are more accepting. Um, was there anyone else there? A particular note? I mean, Brienne, Sansa, Arya. The Sands, Bran. no, the uh, oh, yeah, the new Prince of Dorne, Dorne, who shall remain nameless, he who shall not be named. Mm. He's the Voldemort of this situation. Who uh, is the Azara High? That, they never talked about it in the show. They mentioned Prince that was yes, promised that once, and that's it. Must it. have been John or Bran or Bran. Fucking, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, Yara was there. So she yeah, Yara good. was she there. She looked good. Very she healthy. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, with that wild cast of characters, uh, well, let's see. We know John is prisoner. They start talking about that first. So, John didn't get to come to the meeting because he's the worst prisoner within Tyrion. Tyrion got to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, we find out immediately that Yara is still on Daenerys' side. She's mad that she swore to Danny and then John killed her. Yeah, she liked her. Yep. Um, Davos starts chiming in trying to make peace. I think Yara is going to be a problem in the future. Well, we'll see you next week. Yep. Uh, um, someone, maybe it was, maybe it was Davos. I don't know. Offers to Grey Worm says, take the Unsullied. And there's this patch in the reach where no one lives anymore. I'm not sure off the top of my head what patch of land that was, but it seemed like a pretty bad offer to give a bunch of guys that can't, have kids and procreate and build legacies to be like, yeah. here's, here's some land for you guys to mill around at forever. <laughs> <laughs> so not surprisingly, Grey Worm said, no, thanks. We want justice, not land. And they decide that they should choose a new monarch. They needed someone to make the call on what was going to happen next. So it's mm-hmm. time to get a king or queen. Right then and there. Yep. And they all look at each other. And then Edmure steps up, makes a speech that Sansa's like, Hey, buddy, <laughs> uncle, shut up. I felt kind Poor of bad Edmure. for him. I it know, it's very it was embarrassing. Very embarrassing. He looked good. He looked the part. I guess. Uh, uh, and then while everyone else is just continuing to kind of stare at each other, Sam says, hey, I've got a cool idea. I'm going to invent democracy. <laughs> Let's let the people decide who should lead them. Which seemed like everybody right, was like, "Yeah, let's do go. it, totally." <laughs> and then they burst out. <laughs> Should we also let the dogs vote? That yeah, was, that was nice. And was that Sansa that said that? No, Who it was. was it? One, oh, some, yeah, yeah. Some it guy was, um, that was sitting next to Edmure. I don't. I don't even know who it was. Oh, or maybe it was Lord Royce. No, no I think it was Lord was Royce. It was the guy next to him. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. Let's move on. They were all laughing. I mean, they, even Sansa had like a smirk on her face. Yeah. Which was a little disappointing. Well, I mean, it was kind of a joke. Well, the people made her it's queen. It's a joke for the politics right now. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I that's guess, what it was. I guess. I don't know. Um, 
Right. So that got laughed off. And then Tyrion has been thinking a lot recently. Uh, and mm-hmm. he says, the way to get people inspired and to follow you is with stories. And there's only one person here with story enough to be king. I yelled out, Davos! <laughs> <laughs> he's got some cool stories. Yeah, yes, totally. he's a good story. Dude Davos. lost his fingers for <laughs> doing a good deed. Um, Bran the Broken. <laughs> I, I'm i pretty sure at that point, uh, involuntarily from my lips came the words, please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> God. I mean, honestly, I didn't see it coming. Well, he can't even talk. All he can do is roll his eyes back (laughs) and say, I'm not Bran anymore. Right. I mean, he's even said that. Yeah, he's he's the three-eyed raven. He's not Bran. I can't be king. I'm the three-eyed raven. I'm not even a man anymore. (laughs) (laughs) And Sansa's big things. He can't even have kids. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, why can't he have kids? Well... It probably doesn't work. I think it does. I mean... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I've hung out with Brad the Broken a few times. It's not broken. Had some crazy nights. No, I mean, I think people in wheelchairs, when their legs don't work, I think they can still have sex. Well, maybe he's broken right here. And from here down, it doesn't work. I'm sure there's a I mean, if he has a poop bag. And a pee-pee bag. (laughs) I don't poop anymore. <laughs> it was probably really rough on the road when Bran was still like eating and being a human and stuff, but now he probably doesn't even eat. He's probably not wearing any pants underneath that, and then he's just got his furs covering him, and then he's got a hole in the bottom of his wheelchair. Oh, that'd be smart. It's like a toilet seat. That'd be very efficient. Then you'd he just a- poops along. <laughs> you'd, be like, you'd be like a horse just walking around, and then the poop drops out, and someone has to sweep it up behind you. Yeah. <laughs> God. Ugh, I haven't even had alcohol tonight. Um, <laughs> I have. Okay, so they decide, or Tyrion decides, I guess, and everyone goes along with it, that from now on, rulers will be chosen, not born. Cool. Cool, I guess. Yeah. Um. So no more dynasties. Right here, right now. Uh, and then they ask Bran if he's okay with this, if he would be willing to rule. And he says, and I'm quoting, Why do you think I came all this way? (sighs) (laughs) If you had just told somebody all of this to begin with, we could have prepared. Yeah. Lots more people might be alive. We would have been like, yeah, kill that little girl and let it happen. I just don't get why he... I mean, the three-eyed raven... I don't know if you remember this, but he stayed in a tree so long, it grew through him. Is he still the three-eyed raven? Who? Bran. Yeah. He can't be that in King. I'm sorry. He said he was going to go look for Drogon later. You got to hold on to the... You got to... It's just not right. That's just not right. No, I I agree. He's not capable because he talks so slowly, everybody's going to get bored and walk away. Now, I was thinking... I was. I did. You didn't say, even hear what I said. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> he was going to get bored and walk away. Uh, but it did. I, I. I was saying the other day that I was going to be really mad if this show ends with a dude in power because oh, this well, show's been all about girl power. Bran's and, not a man. And right, so Bran is not a, a man dude. anymore. He's, he's a, a he's a bird. He's a bird. He's a big old bird with a funny haircut and three eyes and three eyes so i guess i got my wish is not a dude on the iron throne right i don't know what bran is but he's not a dude (laughs) so this came to a unanimous vote everybody decided to back bran except sansa right what did she decide to do instead dear proclaim herself queen of the north (laughs) well i mean pretty much kind of yeah She's seceded from the Union. Civil wars have been fought over such things, but not this time. Yeah, I, they were just kind of like, all right. Right. Well, and of course, because Bran probably already knew that that was going to happen, his sole response to that was to nod mutely, which I say because I'm pretty sure that's what it says in the script. Mm. It's got to be. That's nod just the stage mutely. direction. Bran yeah. nods mutely. Um, right. And then all hail Bran the Broken. 
Why does why can't he name. be Bran the Raven or the Three Eyed Raven? Just call him that because he's not Bran anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'd be okay with that, King Raven. Um. Then Bran decides that Tyrion's going to be his hand of the king, and Tyrion says, "No way, Jose." And Bran says, "Oh yes, you are, buddy." Grey Worm's all angry about it, but it's not enough punishment. Right. Yeah, and it is. Bran says Tyrion's done some bad things, but he's going to spend the rest of his life making up for it. Now, I do wonder how long is Bran's lifespan expected to be? Right, it's probably pretty short. Short? Bran? Yeah. I thought it would be pretty long. Why? Well, because a tree grew through that one dude, so he must have been there for hundreds of years at least. Oh, I don't know about that, but trees can grow pretty fast. <laughs> Look at that little tree that was inside that guy's lung. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, good point. Maybe that guy had special powers too. Um, I mean, maybe he has a lifespan of a normal guy, or maybe it's a thousand years. I don't know, but I find the concept of it maybe being a thousand years interesting. Yeah, because for that king to be a ever, thousand years. Everyone's like, we get to elect the next king after Bran dies, and then. <laughs> Do you think at some point you just become corrupt, Brand? or you're like, I'm going to be corrupt this time around? So, you know, every he just gets to. Cycle through generations. Bran? Yeah. You think Bran would get corrupt? If he's going to live for a thousand years, I mean, he might try it out for a year. Well, you only get corrupt if you or, have wants I mean, a and generation. desires. Well, I'm just saying he would do it for fine because you get bored after <laughs> a thousand just years. Just from sheer boredom. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> for the next hundred years, I will have everybody executed if they wear pink. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> right. So then uh, <laughs> we go over to John. Tyrion is now, it seemed to be a few more days later because Tyrion was like cleaned up and wearing normal clothes again. He goes over to John and says, John is going to the Night's Watch. <sighs> that was the again. whole crux of that Oh my God, poor John. Well, then this is where it's starting to bother me that like, I feel like this is not, I, I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but it seems like a weak ending because we are actually repeating a lot of shit. Like we're kind of hitting the reset button on a bunch of things, except there's no Iron Throne anymore. I agree. It's like. <sighs> I mean, where's Bran going to stay? He doesn't well, he need a throne. A, he doesn't need a throne. He has his own chair. You're right. They're well, going to put some swords on the back of his chair. It's going to be all <laughs> badass with some flames. That's <laughs> some some racing stripes down the side. Yeah, maybe, maybe a, a dragon on the spoiler somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, Three eyed raven. The, I mean, this is more of a broader topic, maybe for another day. But if Bran, whenever Bran does die, and the lords come together to choose the next ruler, it's only going to take maybe I'm going to say two generations of that before they start paying each other off. And building dynasties anyway. Right. Because who's going to stop them? They're the lords of the land and they've never given any power to anybody else. Well, then the Night King will come again. And the wheel will start again. Oh, the, yeah. Maybe that happens all the time. And then they'll probably invade the North and take it over and make them kneel. And then. What I don't get ah. is all the people in power and Grey Worm doesn't have any power. He's leaving. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Why right. does John still have to go? They He did the right thing. He did what. Most of those people probably wanted, yet they're sending him to. <laughs> they're sending him. They're banishing him, right? And saying he can never like get married. <laughs> they have power to change that. Uh, it's that. Well, Bran certainly does. At like as soon as Grey Worm sails away, Bran could be like, "Oh yeah, John. By the way, just kidding. <laughs> you can come back now." <laughs> but I guess he's not going to because they made a promise to who. Each other and Grey Worm that they would send John away. Yes, that was so stupid. <laughs> uh, John is troubled about what he did. Is what he did right? Did he do the right thing? Do you think he did the right thing? Yes. I mean, Daenerys had to die. She was going to cause a lot of trouble. I I agree. I just would have preferred if Arya did it. That would have made me very happy. Then you would have gotten a cheer out of me. Yeah. <sighs> would have been so cool if John actually was like, 
I'm going to do what you want, Danny. And then they start kissing and making out. And then Arya's just there. Stabby type. Because she just comes out of nowhere all the time. And yeah. just Like, she's the one that stabbed Danny in the back. So, jo- so the, like, John looks surprised for a good reason. He's like, what? And then Danny looks surprised. What? And then you pan around. And it's like, Arya, what are you doing here? It's raining. Yeah, it's raining mm-hmm. hard. That's a good rain. All right, so yeah, maybe Arya really did come by. She she like ran really fast. She stabbed her, and then she ran out. She was so fast we didn't see her. And John thought he did it. And why? Well, or he's kind of like, what the fuck? And then That's I don't my know. Dagger. I guess I must have done it. <laughs> I must have slipped. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> you just got Brand's voice mixed up with John's. I think I I tried to pull up. I tried to pull up. Out of it. <laughs> uh, all right, so John is freed. He's walking through the streets. Uh, we see. I, I just noted that like it's interesting in the port area like there's just dothraki milling around i like, like that they're just citizens. yeah they're just hanging out wearing their clo- loincloth yeah and we don't know what their long term is because they, they probably, were getting on the boats were they getting on boats because well, they don't like were. they don't like the sea they're not used to it now all right uh gray worms all pissy staring at john and then <laughs> and i know i know our friend recent guest josh uh, will have something to say about this we learned that the Unsullied are sailing for the island of Noth. Right. <laughs> now. According to lore. The butterflies are going to kill them. They are all doomed. Why would he do that? They're going to die horribly. Right. Now, I'm trusting Josh with this one, but he seemed like he knew what he was talking about. Um, I guess I should have looked it up, maybe do some fact checking. But if we take Josh at his word for the moment. No, I thought, really... It was Josh the one that told us that? I thought Masande yeah, said it. No, it was part of the Masande is a traitor thing. Didn't she like, say it in the show? No, she said Noth is beautiful and peaceful. And she didn't say anything about butterflies. She never said that the butterflies were poisonous and kill everybody that comes onto the... Oh, well. Yeah, that that was what we learned from Josh. Hmm. I thought uh, she said it. No. No, because Grey Worm was like, yeah, let's go. That that was where Josh was like, well, she's betraying everybody because she knows if she takes Grey Worm there, he's going to die painfully from this disease or whatever. That the butterflies spread. Then John's family comes to see him off. They're all there again. They're all reunited one more time. Uh, Arya, uh, sorry, Sansa begs for forgiveness because not she's, begs, but she feels really bad. At least yeah. she apologizes. She they, broke his heart. Well, and she she's sending him away. She took away the king of the north, and he says something like, "You know, they'll be in good hands with you or whatever." But it implied queen of the north, but that wasn't official yet. Yeah. Um. We find out that Arya will not ever see John or anybody else again because she is going west. She wants to know what's west of Westeros because the maps all end, <laughs> which is a, a very good point. We know what's east of Westeros is Essos, of course, and further east, like all these lands I was just telling you about, like there's all this deep lower east and then south of, of Essos as well. well all mean, sorts of crazy places. If you go far enough west, you hit east again. You'll eventually come around, of course. So yeah. she's just going to end up in Essos. <laughs> maybe she will just wind up in the far... Maybe she'll find something new. She's going to be an explorer. She had a telescope and everything. We saw that later. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so she's going to go find out. And then John kneels for Bran, calls him my king or something like that. Blah. And- Uneventful. Uh, yeah, just boring. And then <laughs> he leaves. No offense, Bran. Uh, all right. Now we get the real ending scenes, wrapping everything up. We have Brienne writing in the books of the King's Guard. Mm, she writes nice. Jamie's End. She tells all of his tales. Yeah, made him sound like a good guy. I hope she didn't like add in the end part. He went back to his sister. <laughs> he was He was all right in bed, but then he decided. I wonder if he really is. Jamie. I don't know. I mean, he's only had the one person. Right. Right. And he doesn't seem like, of course, that was just a quickie in the tower. <laughs> but to judge from that, I would say he's not very good. Prob- probably not great. But Brienne had no comparison. So for her, True. it was probably amazing. Yeah. Uh, she, <laughs> she, she writes a lot. Uh, it'd be nice to go through that all. Get, like, yeah. Some we should take screen, a, screen yeah, captures. Yeah. We should take a snapshot. Uh, all right. Tyrion. He sits in the hand chair and then starts tidying up all the chairs around his room. It's clearly some more time has passed. He's all clean and well dressed now. Uh, and then we have incoming. First, we get Davos and Sam and Braun. Sam already looks like hunched over from wearing the Archmaster chains or something. He was walking kind of funny. 
uh, Sam plops a book down in front of him called, uh, it was a book called The Song of Ice and Fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's isn't really that cute. adorable. But whereas we all thought Sam was destined to be the one that writes that book as the- It was somebody else. It was someone else. Who was it? Uh, some other maester. I don't know. I was going to try to write it. I down, wonder why they didn't much. make Sam write it. Or let Sam yes. write it. I wonder why they didn't make Sam write it. That's a great question because it's what we all thought was going to happen. And I think they just like to fuck with us. Why uh, give us the satisfaction? Instead, we get Sam on logo design. Okay, well, hang on. He designed the logo for the book. Congratulations, Sam. Sorry, what? He didn't have time to write it, but who else was eyewitness and had time to write it? Well, we don't know how much time has passed. Well, we do know. It couldn't have been that much. Right. Because they were just sort of having their first small council meeting. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Although it could have been a month. Yeah, maybe. Takes a while to start forming. Takes government. a lot longer than that Plus to write a book of that of, volume. Well, then they had a lot of like cleanup around the castle to do. You know. Yeah, you had to get Tyrion. You had to get Tyrion's chair built for him. <laughs> that was well, clearly built for his size. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was okay, actually you, you. You might be right. It was, the back of it was just barely over his mm, head. Good point. Good they were. It was smaller than all the other chairs. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. Sam was the Grand Maester. Davos, did we find out exactly what his job was? I don't know. The storyteller? Braun is the master of coin. Yep. Davos might have been like ships. Oh, he probably was ships. They were talking about rebuilding ships. Mm. Um, and Davos would be good with ships. He's a smuggler. I guess that qualifies you. He's their marine guard. Marine? Marine guard. You know, like the... The Navy? Or the... What's the other one that we have? Like the Marines? It, no. What? Never the, mind. The Air Force? Space no, Force? No, National Guard. Like the National. Oh, okay. <laughs> Space Force. Space Force. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. How did you feel about Braun being there? Oh, he was, I didn't feel good. Yeah. He seemed out of place. He, he was seemed so, out of place, but he would be the natural master of coin. Is he good with money? He likes money. Uh, who knows? I mean, I guess Baelish was a good master of coin, sort of. I don't think and it's he, hard to be math. I mean. Just have to keep good books. Maybe. I don't know. You hire an accountant for that. Braun had a bunch of titles. Again, I want to go back and like get all those written down, but he's definitely high garden, but he was also like uber lord of like a larger whatever mm. region that was. So he's come a long way in this world. Looked very clean. Very yeah, well, did you know well that dressed. he and 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 Lena Headey had they were together and then they, they broke hate up each other? and they hate each other. Okay, yeah, and yeah. they were never in any scenes together. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe early, early on, but then no, I, I bet I I could easily believe that they were never in any scenes together. Yeah, I heard that they hated each other. I don't remember the part about them having been a couple, but that's. That makes sense why they'd hate each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could get over it once in a while, you know, especially for a good job. I hope he's a nice guy because I picture him not so nice. Well, I picture her as being pretty nice. Yes. But you never can tell. It's possible that she's not nice. But she seems nice. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, and then Bran, Bran and Brienne. What a pair. Bran and Brienne come in. Brienne is must be the master guard, master. Yeah, she must be head of the king of war, whatever. No, king's guard, king's guard king's for guard. sure. Sorry. She she always wanted to be a gold cloak or a rainbow cloak for Renly. Very was very he going to be <laughs> rainbow? <laughs> very very subtle. Um, okay, so Brian Brian Bron Brian Brienne, <laughs> they're all the same. Bran wants to know if there's any word on Drogon. That's weird. And there was something about, like, we saw him heading east past, and then, shh, 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 don't tell the king what we know. That's a smart thing to do. And then Bran's just like, whatever, I'll find him. And then he leaves. <laughs> he's like, he's almost like Robert. Like, I've got better things to do than talk about how to run the kingdom. I'm going to go chase a dragon. For Robert, it would have been chasing a, a hooker. Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's well, very all just kind of a little dis weird. discombobulated. Just, yes. That's a good word for it. Uh, Podrick enters, Sir Podrick. Very briefly, like we saw his face for like five seconds. Right. But he had nice armor. He's I didn't see it. I missed it because like I was like looking gold. at my wine or something. 
<laughs> like a big golden breastplate on. So he's probably right under Brienne, like part of the King's Guard or something. Yeah. Like. Uh, and he takes Bran away. Um, and there's some witty banter. It was good witty banter mm-hmm, about like mm-hmm. how to spend money and where they can start doing things and mm-hmm. brothels. Calling each other by their official titles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Maester objects to the Master of Coins proposal that we... <laughs> that we uh, fix up all the brothels and we should probably look into having clean water for people to drink. Uh, okay. Then we flash over to John getting to Castle Black and Tormund is there. Yay. And then there's this whole montage of Starks. So like we see, right. this, we just see Tormund real quick and then there's all sorts of different stuff happening. Arya's on a boat and they're all like sheathing their weapons and Arya has got a telescope and some, other tools and <laughs> Sansa gets this badass looking outfit on, except it looked a little tight around the middle. Like she was corseted in there. It mm-hmm. looked very uncomfortable, but she gets queen of the North. Yep. Queened of the North or queen of the North. I don't know. Uh, queened. I it's think a, it's a verb now. Queened. Right? John is going around Castle Black, and there's wildlings there hanging out with the northern people, and then there's also Ghost. Yay, Ghost! I knew he was coming back. Ghost finally got a hug. Yeah. It's the ultimate justice. He finally touched his dog. (laughs) Yes. Pet him on the head. He he finally gave him a little love. It's been probably two or three years since Ghost has had any human contact. He finally got it. His ear's not looking good. His ear wasn't there at all. And the last scene was John riding north out of the wall. Right. It was still part of the montage, like Sansa's doing stuff and John's in the tunnel and da da da. But the last shot was John riding north through the wall, out of the wall with the wildlings. Mm-hmm. So he's either going on a camping trip. Yeah. I don't think he's going to stay. No, I do. With the Night's Watch. Oh, right. Yeah. I think he's going to stay he's just, free. He's, he's, he's finally like, God, I'm free. Thank you. Right. That would be fun. Except Would for the cold. It? Yeah, it's cold. The cold's burr. not fun, but they, you know, you got to keep warm. So that means a lot of body to body contact. Nymeria never came back. Fuck. You're right. Nymeria could have been on that boat with Arya. That would have been Explored the world together. Yeah. Damn yeah. this show, man. I know. <laughs> no Ilaria <laughs> closure. Right. And a lot of the castle was still in pretty good condition. So Ilaria was totally an option. Well, do we know that a lot of the castle was still in good condition? Well, so like we look, don't know. The throne room wasn't, and the catacombs weren't. But I mean, the the council chamber was in great condition. You know, there there were parts of the castle that, that was looked, that still looked good. That was much later uh, that they. Well, like a month later, they had to okay. sweep and clean up. I'm just saying, you you brought her up first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. That was the end of the show. How you feeling? Uh, Are you let down? I know. I feel like, ah. Eh. It's, it's like it wasn't necessarily an unsatisfying ending. I mean, we did get an ending. Like, the kingdom is now set in a direction. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's not a direction that shows a lot of learning from our past mistakes. Like, Bran, probably going to be fine for a long time. But then after that, I think we're right back to where we started from. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of infighting and backstabbing and just the same old bullshit as always happens. But maybe it won't. Yeah, maybe it won't, but. That's like our new generation, you know, the next generation gets better. Although it seems like America, every generation has gotten more corrupt. You would. (laughs) I think well, yeah, I'm I mean, hoping a, that this next generation will be less. It's a snowballing cycle. The first couple rulers after Bran would probably be okay, but then things are going to start taking a turn because it people will. But they've get got Bran. Well, but how long does Bran live? That's the big. Well, question. you said a thousand years, so it I'm going with that. Years. Maybe, maybe it'll be a thousand years, and then everything will be awesome. We're gonna have to look that up. Yep. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. Um, <sighs> oh. Well, you know, we're we're going to talk some more. I, I'm sure Lore Master Kevin's chomping at the bit. I know there's some other people that we should check in with. Um, and we've been invited to at least one other podcast in the near future to sort of give our, our thoughts about how things came out. Um, maybe in a week or two. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be we're going to be busy. But to that end, uh, let me just say, so if you've just dropped in and you're not someone that's been listening to us for a while, but you just wanted to see what people were saying in the podcast sphere, 
uh, hit subscribe, man. Yeah. Look us up in iTunes or in Google Play Music or whatever podcast app you like because we're not done. Whether no, what are we going to do next? Well, I don't know. We watched ha- Westeros hopefully soon. Westeros? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think you did that last West time. <laughs> <World>. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I we have to look up the HBO release dates of things, but I'm sure Westworld's working on a season three. As far as I know, it hasn't been canceled. Um, and uh, Watchmen looks really good. We could talk about Chernobyl, but boy, what a depressing fucking thing that is. Maybe maybe we can just do like one episode after it's over. We haven't seen it, yeah. And just yeah. Um, Watchmen, His Dark Materials. You saw a nice preview for that tonight. Doesn't that look awesome? It does. It really does. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, you know, HBO is still putting on some good content. Do you remember back when there used to be like, and maybe it still exists, but I remember when HBO first was born. Mm -hmm. And there was like HBO After Dark, and then they had like 10 movies on there or something. (laughs) It's just not... I'm sure there was more, but nothing nothing that I wanted to watch. You know, it was just so... It was young. <laughs> now look well, at it. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, it was just movies that they could get from other sources. And mm-hmm. eventually, many just years later... Just some guy putting in discs. Or <laughs> right. Tape, That's all you need. I don't know. <laughs> it's a great business model. DVDs. And then no. eventually, they started making their own original movies. And then there was a the couple miniseries here and there. And now... Game of Thrones. Full-blown full network television. It's pretty pretty great. Oh, yeah. Silicon Valley. Is it great, though? I bet they're not. I bet they're evil. Who? HBO. I bet everybody's evil. They HBO has to be less evil than most because real time – not real time. Well, real time with Bill Maher, last week tonight with John Oliver. Like, they're putting out some – decent progressive political content. So even though they're probably still a corporation that pays nothing in taxes and yada, 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 uh, they're at least less evil in your mind. Well, if you're going to put on content like that, you've got to be a little bit less evil than others. Okay. I don't know how much less evil, but at least a little bit less evil. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. That's the verdict. Yeah. HBO, oh less evil than most. Okay. I'm, I'm exhausted from all of this day. It has been a very long day. Having people over really, you know, that only adds to it because we don't, we didn't run up here and do a reaction cast right away. We kept talking and commiserating and then, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. a long day. And we have our kids here tonight, so we had to put them to bed. All right, so we're done for now. We're going to talk again soon. We will definitely catch up with Loremaster Kevin and much more to come. And now our watch has ended. And now our watch has ended. <laughs> <laughs>